What's up everyone here and I think you making this video party. I'm so excited to upload one for you guys because this video we're going to be taking one of the most subtle and yet most interesting science fiction films, Contact. And keeping up with the theme of sci-fi for this month, this film really surprised me. Because for me, two of my favorite movie genres are both science fiction and fantasy. And since I already watched 2001 A Space Odyssey, Contact was actually the next movie that my device recommended to me. So I figured, why not? I already watched 2001 A Space Odyssey and the pacing is just a little bit faster than that movie, then I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy Contact just a little bit more. But anyway, this movie came out back in 1997 and stars Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey, which really surprised me given how one of my favorite sci-fi films is Interstellar. So to see that he was in this film before Interstellar, this really took me by surprise. So I figured, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this movie a lot more now. So like I said, this movie came out back in 97 and it's set during the late 90s, which at the time this movie came out was considered to be the modern age. But the movie centers around Joyce Foster's character who is a scientist that listens to radio missions coming from space and is apparently the first human to come into contact with life beyond Earth. Now what I mean by her coming into contact with life beyond Earth, I'm talking about her listening to a radio signal that is coming from a star system that is light years away from our galaxy but is apparently giving off several instructions on how these humans can come into contact with these aliens. Which was one of the things I liked about this film because while at first it's about us meeting aliens, the overall story mostly revolves around us taking the steps on how we're going to do so. Honestly, this movie could have gone the stereotypical route very quickly had they introduced the aliens right from the get-go. Because in most sci-fi films, whenever humans come into contact with aliens, it's usually one scene where they learn about the aliens and the next scene where the aliens come to Earth and pretty much wreck shop and destroy everything. That's right, I saw Independence Day. But what makes this movie special is that it takes one crucial moment that we've seen in most movies and extends it further by showing us what it would take for humans to meet aliens on a more peaceful level. And I like how within this movie there are two groups of people that audiences can identify with. There is one group that is very excited to meet these aliens knowing that there is life beyond Earth and they can further extend their knowledge on the universe itself. And there is the other group who would be terrified out of their minds. Rightfully so, because we've seen a lot of movies where whenever we meet aliens, it usually leads to conflict with life that is far more technologically advanced than us. Like I said, Independence Day pretty much sums it all up. And while there are those who are afraid of the existence of aliens because of the conflict it would lead to, there are those who are afraid of them because of their existence in general, knowing that it would challenge their religion. Enter Gary Busey, who serves as an unnamed antagonist that sort of represents how religious people would act on an extreme level. Which is funny because when I first saw his character, I was like, oh my god, it's Gary Busey, before quickly going to, oh my god, can someone please tell Gary Busey to shut up? I mean, the way he portrays his character as an opposing force to Jodie Foster's character in her pursuit to meeting these aliens, it sort of makes you feel uneasy knowing that there are people like this character who are religious zealots. It sort of plays in that thought process how people are afraid of what they don't understand. In life, we are afraid of change, and when we come into contact with something that may disrupt our way of life, we naturally get scared. But one of the things that sort of defines us is what we do when we're scared. And you see this throughout the film as you watch Jodie Foster's character overcome several obstacles that are trying to prevent her from achieving her goal, which will ultimately change the course of human history for better or worse. It sort of reminds you that knowledge is power, and power can be perceived as something to be afraid of depending on who is holding it and how it is being used. So you're pretty much watching a story about a scientist who is trying to establish contact with an alien race while at the same time deal with the public who is afraid of what this may lead to. Why does that sound familiar? It's right here where I realized that, oh snaps, this movie is pretty much Arrival. For those of you who may not know, Arrival is one of my favorite science fiction films because it shows you that learning something new can lead to great strides. And when you watch both of these films back to back, you could say that Arrival drew some inspiration from Contact given how Contact came almost 20 years before Arrival. Honestly, watching both these films back to back, it's a pretty interesting experience. I'll be sure to put a link of my Arrival video in the description down below, so be sure to check out that review and don't forget to hit that like button. But going back to Contact, it's interesting to see that as a scientist, it is important to rely on fact and data, but it's also okay to rely on belief as well, and we see that with our main character as she struggles to find what do we ultimately rely on when the chips are down? Do we rely on fact or do we rely on belief? Which pretty much leads to a big payoff by the end of the film as you see this character almost completely change given how her pursuit of knowledge has given her an experience that changes her views on fact and belief. 
So overall, I really enjoy this film as it shows you that pursuing knowledge can take you very far in life. So if you're looking for a science fiction film that makes you see the wonders of how precious knowledge is, I highly recommend you watch this film. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. That was my overall view for Contact. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can always upload from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.